trying to blend the, the limits of what is real and what is uh, magic through technology and 3D animation. This project is really exciting because it allows us to push the limits of what has been done so far in terms of blending digital imagery with, with physical skin, with a human being. It takes a whole new dimension. We basically start with a 3D scan of Carla, the model, which we do through a technique called photogrammetry, which is basically around well, more than 100 DSLR cameras that take really high resolution pictures of her face so that we have an extremely accurate 3D model of her. Then we 3D print her so that we can actually rehearse without having to, to rehearse with her all the time. And then all the content is created around 3D morphology of her face, so it is custom made. We started through a uh, concept design phase in which we created physical makeups in order to design some of the looks that would then become digital versions of, of those physical makeups. Poder aportarles a los diseñadores ese lenguaje del maquillaje que ellos pudieran entender y que pudieran transformarlo en digital. La me pareció la parte más difícil y la traducción de un diseño de maquillaje real, traducirlo a tres dimensiones. Y cómo yo les podía aportar el color y las texturas para que ellos pudieran animar y darle vida. Cuando luego ves el resultado es apasionante. Last year we created the technology, the base technology that we're using today, and it was for a live phase projection mapping performance in which we created a technology that we could use to track a person, to track a face, a human being, and then project a 3D version of herself or himself live so that it would act as digital skin. So we have evolved the technology over the last year to allow a much more a fine and sharp blend of the digital content with the physical skin. In terms of the software that we use, we're using high frame rate face tracking technology. So basically we have a series of cameras around there that track infrared light. Through those cameras, we have a 3D representation of her face as she moves through the space. So we can really create a 3D model of her face in real time. And then in parallel, we have a software that creates an image of herself, a 3D representation of herself with all the content on top of her face and it is projected back onto her. And finally, we have a technology that allows us to blend in the projector with the rendering, with the 3D rendering of herself so that they both click and match together perfectly. Mapping technology has been around for a while, but it's not been used um, on moving targets very much. Um, and seeing it projected on someone's face when they're actually able to move around is a technology which has only really recently been seen. And I think given that we're bombarded with messages the whole time these days, trying to find a unique um, and an interesting way to convey your messages to consumers is really important. We could have gone down a very traditional route with this. I'm really glad we didn't. Um, because I think what we've created is um, something which people will want to watch and people will go, well, that's, that was more interesting than the usual stuff I get fed by brand. We looked to face mapping as a creative way to demonstrate all of the sort of fantastic looks that people can wear and really dramatise not how the makeup goes on, but how effortlessly the makeup is removed which is what Cold Cream does. This project lands really high-end uh, technology, software, hardware, and a lot of components, a lot of pieces that make this puzzle possible. But the beauty of that is, not, is that you don't even think about it when you see it. it just, it's just magic that comes to life. <laughs>